a little bit hoarse this morning myself. But God has surely been good to me. Can't deny that. God's better to me than I've ever deserved. And I mean that. But I want you to know that mercy is still, still on the throne. If it wasn't, we'd be in a world of hurt right now. I've enjoyed what these brothers have already been telling us. If men and women would just take heed to it. But you know, there's, <clears throat> there's many mysteries in this book, many thoughts that can confuse us and things that are said and, and it's kind of like a copy of a copy of a copy. The more that that people say and, and then it's quoted from that person, it gets watered down sometimes. It's easy to do. One little thing that was said and I'll, I'll read it to you that John began to write and he was writing the words of Jesus. And Jesus looked right at him and he said, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. I thought he said there was mansions already there. So what is he going to prepare? A thought that, that sometimes is, is kind of taken out of context and the, and the words that he's gone to build us a mansion that's not what it says. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not true, I would have told you, I will prepare a place for you. So what is Jesus going to prepare? And that's a question. That, that sometimes uh, uh, that I, I, I've studied about and wondered about many times and, and I, I'm not the smartest person in the world and I know that but, but I believe that every question that we have regarding this Bible can be found right in this Bible. I just believe that. It's an all-inclusive book. Every mystery that, that the Lord that he spoke of and he, he uttered dark sayings hard to be understood. But I believe the answer is right here if you we'll just lean on God with everything that's in us. And I want to tell men and women today that you better get ready to live again because the end is coming. Whether I dot every I and whether I cross every T, whether I know all the mysteries that are written in this book, it's irrelevant. The end is coming, brother. I listen, and I want every man and every woman uh, to come unto the Lord to find Him. Uh, this ain't about knowledge. This ain't about having everything figured out. This is about falling down and seeing God for what He is, brother. I listen, and I believe that. I listen, I believe that the whole plan of salvation is in Jesus' hands today. It's not in the old regular Baptist. It's not in the preacher's hands. It's not in grandpa and grandpa's hands, brethren. But salvation, the Bible says, is of the Lord. Uh, brother, listen, uh, and I believe that, Brother Larry, listen, I love uh, uh, the way that we do, don't get me wrong, uh, I love the way that, uh, uh, that I've been raised, but I want you to know uh, uh, that there's even a better way, uh, uh, listen, and that way uh, is called the way of holiness, uh, uh, Brother, listen, uh, and if a man will humble himself, Brother Mike, he'll find that way, uh, and that way is in Jesus, uh, uh, Him to be the way, uh, uh, the truth, and the life, brother. And, uh, uh, oh, but listen uh, uh, to me today. I want you, uh, uh, you brothers, to be praying that God uh, uh, would lift me 
just for a minute, uh, and I'll shortly get out of the way and let Brother Mike, uh, but I want you to understand, I uh, am. Yeah. And we study that, uh, and we don't understand that it fits in the rest of the puzzle. Uh, I'm Brother Jerry, but I want you to know uh, I am my Lord, Brother and uh, uh, He's got a plan of salvation, uh, and every man needs to come to that plan, Brother. Uh, uh, listen, I'm telling you one thing here. Uh, uh, listen, you want to see uh, uh, the setting up of God's plan uh, and the setting up of the church, Brother Joey. Uh, I believe we can find it on every page. Uh, on every page, uh, uh, we ought to be able to see the plan of God uh, uh, right here, brother. And if we look good enough, uh, uh, yeah, but I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, that God come to a man uh, one day. Uh, I believe his name was Ezekiel. And, it, and the Bible says that he carried Ezekiel out. Uh, uh, listen, and he set him down in a valley. Uh, and listen, a great valley. Uh, and that valley was full of bones. Uh, and then bones were dry and very dry. Uh, and listen, and God uh, uh, began to talk to that prophet. And he told him, uh, hey, God asked him a question. Uh, uh, oh, Ezekiel, uh, shall these bones yet live? Uh, and Ezekiel answered and said, uh, uh, God, thou knows uh, uh, whether or not these bones are going to live again. Uh, and God gave him uh, uh, something to do, didn't he? Said, uh, uh, then I want you to preach to the moan uh, and say, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that man, uh, uh, he began to preach uh, uh, to a bunch of dry bones. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, many women may wonder uh, uh, why in the world would God uh, uh, have a preacher to not go uh, uh, out to one of the cities. I uh, was uh, sitting down in a valley uh, of dry bones. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, I want you to know today uh, if God's called me, uh, He's called me to preach. Uh, uh, a bunch of dry bones. Uh, uh, them that are without God, uh, uh, they're dead, brother. And, uh, and they, uh, their hope is lost. Uh, uh, they have no hope. Out in this world, uh, and Ezekiel said, uh, uh, I began to preach to the bone. Uh, uh, yeah, that man, uh, uh, he began to preach, uh, and he said, uh, I hear ye the word of the Lord. Uh, and brother, and he said, uh, I heard a shaking, uh, a great shaking, uh, and every bone come. Uh, But every bone come to his bone. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, if I've got a life, uh, it's because I come to Jesus. Uh, uh, that's where my life is. Uh, that's where your life is today. Uh, uh, you might uh, say, well, preacher, uh, I'm alive. I'm doing just fine right here. Uh, but I promise you one thing. Uh, if you ain't got Jesus uh, down inside, uh, you're dried up. Uh, you're hoping laws. Uh, uh, you're in a world of trouble, Brother Jerry. Uh, oh, but uh, listen, Ezekiel said, uh, I were bone come out of his bone. Uh, and he said, I look. And I saw the meat come on the bones. Uh, I saw the skin uh, uh, cover the meat. Uh, and they was there, 
but there was still no life in them. And, and the Lord spoke to that man again and said, Son of man, you prophesied of the wind and say, Blow on these bones because there was no life yet in them.
great voice in heaven uh, saying, uh, uh, Behold the tabernacle of God uh, is dwelling with men. Uh, I'm going to be their God and they're going to be my people. Uh, uh, God bless uh, this church that Jesus left us. Uh, I ain't talking to the frame uh, about old regular Baptists. Uh, I ain't talking about free will Baptists. Uh, I ain't talking about Catholic. Uh, I ain't talking about Methodist. Uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, the true and undefiled church uh, of the living God. Uh, uh, that's the one every man uh, and every woman's got to be a part of uh, if they want to go to heaven. Uh, uh, yeah, because if you ain't been born again, you're not going that way. Uh, uh, maybe mom and dad uh, live their life in church. Uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, you've attended church uh, your whole life. Uh, uh, but if you ain't been born again, uh, uh, you don't get to go. Uh, uh, you must uh, repent uh, and be born again. Uh, and when you're born again, uh, I believe part of heaven. Uh, uh, live and dwell right down in inside of me. Uh, no wonder uh, uh, some of these old saints, uh, uh, when they're getting ready to leave this world, uh, I've seen it uh, and I've heard of it all my life. Uh, uh, they're getting right down to the edge uh, of the river of death. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, uh, they'll begin to reach upward. Uh, uh, somebody uh, is right there with them, Brother Jerry. Uh, uh, yeah. of his saint. I believe that when one of God's children is ready to leave this world, I believe God's there sending an angel down to get them. I'm going to take them on over. I remember an old preacher saying, I remember mom when Alzheimer's set in. I could go in her home and I could say, Mom, how are you doing and she'd never answer a word i never say a word and he'd say she didn't even know my name and he said and then i'd say mom have you seen jesus lately and all of a sudden she go raising her hand she start clapping because she still knew the savior yeah
You need the Lord more than you even need your next breath. You need the Lord more in your life. You need God in so many ways. Uh, because if you've got children, if you've got grandchildren, if you've got friends and loved ones, uh, you know what? Uh, mommy, uh, that little girl needs to see you worshiping God. Uh, uh, listen, uh, Chris, these boys, uh, uh, they need to see you worshiping God. Uh, it's so important in this world uh, because your years of time uh, are going to boil down to just one year. And that one year is going to come down uh, to just one week. Uh, and that week is going to come down to one moment. Uh, and what would you give an excuse? change at that point. Uh, uh, if you don't have my Lord uh, uh, down in your soul, uh, I feel sorry for you. Uh, uh, listen, I'm telling you the truth. Uh, uh, get ready to live again. Uh, uh, you better uh, uh, because the end is coming. Uh, uh, the end of your time is coming. Uh, I don't know about the end of time. Uh, I don't know when that's coming. Uh, that could come today. These storm clouds uh, uh, that are moving over uh, uh, what if they was to separate right now? Uh, uh, what would you say? Would you begin to cry? Uh, would you get down on your knees uh, if they parted open uh, and, a, uh, and the sun began to shine through? Uh, and I ain't talking oh, to the S U N. I'm talking the S O N begin yeah. to shine through. Uh, uh, that rumbling you hear, uh, uh, there's going to be a trumpet uh, uh, in that day that's going to blow. Uh, and it's going to be so. Uh, that even the dead's going to raise up. Uh, they're going to get up. Uh, and then they have done good. Uh, uh, they're going to shine forth uh, as the sun in their Father's kingdom. But them that do iniquity, them that fail to repent, they're going to rise up too. But their, their fate is a whole lot worse. I, I know that I've been scattered today. But I want you to get ready to live forever and ever and ever yeah. in a better world than this. Come on, Brother Mike. Come on.